Listen, in today's video, I am going to be giving you a complete 100% beginner's guide into using the Robinhood investing application. Now, I am super excited to jump in. This is one of my all-time favorite applications, and I've been using it now for the better part of eight years, and I've been in it almost every single day. So it's safe to say that I know this app kind of like the back of my hand. And in this video, I'll give you the whole entire rundown from the setup process, registering for an account, buying and selling your first stocks, and everything in between. So if there's something that you're looking for, looking for in particular, just know that I'm going to have everything timestamped down in the description of this video. There's going to be multiple chapters. You could skip ahead, jump to the section that you want to take away and uh, be able to learn as fast as possible. So I'm really excited to do this. Now, just keep in mind as I go through this video, I am not a financial advisor. So some of the stocks, some of the investments that I'll be talking about, for example, sake, I'm not saying, hey, go out and buy these investments. I do typically talk on this channel about what I'm investing in personally, but uh, it should have no indication you should be doing your own research and setting it up in a way that you are comfortable with. So without further ado, let's jump into the first section and learn how you're going to actually register for your account. And let's talk about the sign up process. And it's actually really straightforward. Now, what I want you to do, if you haven't yet signed up for the Robinhood investing application, maybe you know some other people that have the app, go ahead and ask them for their referral code. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to get you some entirely free money just for kickstarting your account. Account. Now, if you don't have anybody or know anyone that's using the Robinhood investing account, then go ahead, jump to the description of this video. I'm going to have my referral link right at the top and you can click on that and you're going to get yourself the reward. Now, in addition to that, it's going to get me some extra money as well just going to use it to go cycle back buy more shares, more stocks and uh, reinvest in this channel. So I would appreciate that. But anyways, as you go and you click that link and you're taken to sign up for the Robinhood app, you're going to get a number of different questions being asked. Now, some people start to get a little bit worried. They get really personal. They ask for things like your first name, your last name, where you're living, and you end up coming to this question where it asks about your social security number. A lot of people start to get a little bit uneasy in this section, but just keep in mind, no matter where you're investing your money, what application you use, what brokerage you use, all of them require your social security number. The reason being is, hey, you're going to be making a lot of money from the stock market. And if you do, the government needs to get a share of that money. They, uh, Uncle Sam will come knocking at your door and you know, it's not fun, but it's really easy to uh, set up the tax payment. We'll talk about it later in this video. And uh, honestly, it's not something you have to stress too much about, but just know that no matter where you are investing, you're going to have to enter that information. And then once you're all set with that, that's pretty much the only thing that trips people up. It'll ask you some questions about your investor profile, you know, how much experience experience you have investing. And uh, I would recommend if this is your first time investing, obviously say you have little to no experience. And what this is going to do is the app is going to walk you through a little bit how to use it. And as you're clicking through screens, it's just going to give you some advice on uh, on how to navigate. So definitely do that. But by the end of this video, you're going to be a pro either way. So I'll let you do what you want there and let's get into the next section and cover the home screen. All right, now listen, let's talk about the home screen. Now you're going to be brought to this screen after signing up and you'll probably have $0 up in the top left there, but let me just walk through what this screen looks like so you can get comfortable with it. Now you're going to have that overall account value in the top left. And then you're gonna get this chart down beneath it, which is showing the progression of how your portfolio is performing. Now you can see that it sorts, you can do one day, one week, one month, three month, one year and all time. And the other cool thing is if you wanna see uh, in a specific time period, how your portfolio or how much money was in it, you can just click with your thumb and you can drag it and you can see real time that the value is actually changing. So March 1st, this was valued $675 higher, about four and a half percent based off of where it was at the beginning of this three month period. The other thing is, let's say I wanted to see what the uh, what the difference was between this low point here of uh, January 31st and that high point. Well, I can use two thumbs and then click in between and you can see it was actually up 5.69% since then. Oh, I, I moved my thumbs a little bit, but 5.69% since then. $836.19 greater. So that's just kind of the fluctuation of this portfolio a little bit. And uh, and let's just keep going through. So next you have the buying power, which you can see is sitting at $15.13. That's how much money I have in this account that I can then go and invest in the stock market. And uh, I'll talk about how you can transfer funds in a minute here. Uh, but just keep scrolling down. You can see next section 
section is cash. Now the cash section is kind of unique in Robinhood investing. You can leave money just in general, not invested, just within the application. And Robinhood's going to give you a little bit of money on top of uh, what you leave in there. So their account will give you 1.5% APY. And my recommendation is that if you don't already have a high interest savings account, like if you're just looking to store money somewhere, like a high interest savings account is a really good spot. You're going to be getting somewhere around 5% right now. I use Wealthfront for mine. But the other thing is if you do wind up getting Robinhood gold, you're also going to get 5%. But just keep in mind, Robinhood Gold is a paid service. It's like $50 for the year. And uh, it comes with a couple perks. We'll probably talk about that a little bit later on. Continuing to scroll down, you can see stocks and ETFs. Now, this is actually what I'm invested in in this portfolio. So you can see the, the stock on the left is uh, at the top. I have Apple, right? It shows that I have 14.69 shares. Then it shows the chart for Apple, how it's been performing. And then on the right-hand side, you see the numbers where that says plus $581.43. The cool thing is if I click on that, it's gonna bring up this uh, this display data screen. And what I can do is just choose what I want those numbers to be. So it could be the last price of the stock, the percent change, the equity that I have, meaning how much money that I have invested in that particular stock. It could have today's return. And right now you can see I'm sorted by total return and then you can have total percentage change. So if I do something like the last price, you can see the last price of Apple was $169.65 per share. But let me just jump in and show you um, my total return just so you can see overall uh, what's going on here. Uh, I recently restructured this portfolio. If you're interested in looking at that video, I'll have a link to it in the description as well. But continuing to scroll down, the other cool thing in this section, right? You start investing, you have have a bunch of different stocks and you want to go ahead and sort this a particular way well you can go ahead and you can hold with your thumb on one of these investments and then you can drag them above or beneath other stocks and you can just place them like that now it's super easy to do um, and pick up so it's just really cool you also have this discover more tab in here it gives you a couple different pointers things that you can do you can actually transfer if you have other investment accounts into Robinhood investing um, and then the other thing is you could do things like uh, get your APY higher. You can get a 3% IRA boost. We'll talk about the IRA in a minute here. And then there's something called margin investing. If this is your first time investing, don't look into margin investing. I wouldn't recommend it right now. But uh, again, you're going to be doing your own due diligence anyway. Now, continuing to scroll down on this home screen, you've also got these lists that you can create. I don't use these all too much, but it's just cool. If you want to compile different stocks into a list format, you can go ahead and create a watch list um, here and you can just go ahead, click create the watch list. You can name it and then it'll appear down here. Then as you're looking through stocks, I'll show you how to add them to that watch list. But basically you can click on um, this little icon that's going to allow you to do that. And then in there, you'll see like these were stocks I was thinking about buying at one point in time. I had them all consolidated into this one. Uh, think about it watch list that I created so something cool you also got IPO access uh, by default I don't think everybody has access to this I, I, I could be wrong on that but basically this is where stocks that are coming to the stock market for the first time get listed um, and you get early access and you can potentially buy some of the shares. Um, but when you're just getting started investing, I don't really typically make IPO plays. I try to make it as easy as possible on myself and not really worry all that much about uh, risky investments. So that's the overall home screen. The next screen that I want to talk about is going to be the crypto screen. All right, now let's talk about the next screen, which is the cryptocurrency screen you can see at the bottom there's a bunch of different icons well the second one is the crypto screen icon and you can see there's just this whole like another side of the platform where you can buy and sell cryptocurrency as well so let's just scroll through this you can bring your crypto into robin hood investing now i personally like would recommend using a cold storage uh if you buy and sell crypto i was part of the whole like block wave where their company went under with the ftx debacle and i ended up losing some money granted it wasn't all that much but it still made me a little bit weary about hosting my crypto on uh, some of these platforms uh 
so I typically use cold storage, but just knowing that you can buy and sell crypto on here is a pretty cool thing. In this section, you're gonna see that you have the top five daily movers, which you can see are both uh, positive and negative. So like Shiba Inu, which made 4.2%, 420, what's good, please. And then um, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, things like that. Uh, you can see the movement on them. Now within Robinhood investing, you're gonna see two options here. You've got tradable cryptocurrency and non-tradable cryptocurrency. Not every single crypto is available on the Robinhood investing platform. Though it is cool that they have some, like the bigger names, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they even have Dogecoin in here, but you can sort through both tradable and then I just click non-tradable there. You can see the different options. And again, I don't own any within Robinhood, so I can't really show you what that looks like, but you can go ahead and expand that section too. These are all the tradable crypto options as I scroll through, like not too many. And then as you scroll down a little bit more, you got the learn more about crypto section where you're going to get some information about cryptocurrency uh, and taxing and stuff like that. So if I click into learn about Bitcoin, it'll take you to this sort of article that talks a little bit about the history of it. Um, and you can learn a little bit in these sections. Now with Robinhood, they've got a lot of cool features that show different articles, different news, uh, things to look at when considering what stocks to buy, but there's definitely external research that you want to bring into this. Uh, and, and, you know, on my channel, I talk about high pick stocks and things like that in the past. So, um, I'm not going to really get into some of that stuff in this video, but just know that like when you're looking at some of these definitely want to still be doing your own due diligence, scroll down a little bit more. You've got this latest in crypto tab. Now these are basically just news articles. You can see what's going on in the happenings with cryptocurrency. And you can see like this first, uh, this first article here, Bitcoin traders brace for ruins launch by setting up their own nodes. Why you can click on that. If you're interested in it, you can learn a little bit more. It brings you right to the article and then you get a whole bunch of those in the section as well. You can expand it by clicking show more towards the bottom there. And then you can see there's just a whole bunch of articles, uh, that you can go into and, uh, and do a little bit of research and learn more about crypto. Uh, it does this in the stocks as well. So it's just cool little section that they have and uh that's pretty much all for the crypto section now let's jump into the next section here all right so the next section is probably my favorite portion of the Robinhood investing application. Now this is the Roth IRA tab. And I would highly, highly recommend that if you don't know the difference between an individual investment account, which was the home screen that I'm showing here and a Roth IRA that you look up the difference between these two portfolios. I'm going to link one of the videos that I have explaining it in the best way possible uh, in this section. But basically what you need to know is this is a retirement account. This money in this particular section is going to grow completely tax-free. You can withdraw it at the age of 65 and not pay any taxes on top of what you've invested into this account. Now, there are stipulations. You can only invest up to $7,000 annually into this account and you can't uh, take out the gains. Otherwise, you're gonna pay a really high tax percentage on them. That's just kind of it in a nutshell. Um, but this is like the best possible way I think that like beginning investors can start in this account just because of the tax advantageness of it. So definitely go and do some research into that. And then on this screen, it's very, very similar to the home screen. It's gonna give you the same exact breakdown where you have this chart at the top. You can drag, you can look at the returns of what uh, things kind of look like here. And you can see, I actually recently transferred these funds in from a different brokerage. So I, uh, I have now this really large jump <laughs> and it goes up uh, to $22,000 there. So uh, pretty straightforward. You're going to see this is where you have your contributions. Now I'm actually maxed out. I started investing on a different uh, platform, but you can see my 2024 total uh, in here. You can click on this and it tells you when you're going to hit your max contribution limit in here. Um, really, really cool. One of the coolest features of uh, Robinhood investing is that they actually do a match. They give you 1% if you don't have gold, I believe, and up to 3% with uh, gold account. Now, if you go down, you see the different stocks and ETFs. This has way less investments than the original home screen that I had. This is the style that I think that if you're a brand new beginning investor, I'm very comfortable with mainly because it's really hands off. VTI traces the overall stock market. SCHD is all about dividends. And uh, it's just two of my very favorite ways of investing. I never have to worry about buying and selling. It's all automated. And uh, I'll show you how to set up some of this stuff in a little bit. 
down here again discover more just like you had on the home screen and you can see i have these two recurring investments set up one for schd which i buy 80 dollars worth every single week and one for vti which i'm buying for a hundred dollars every single week so that's really straightforward again like this is such a great section of this application they offer some great benefits to this account that no other brokerage offer now i would say definitely go and do a little bit of research into the differences between the roth ira and individual account roth ira in my opinion is a really strong account to start and get your basis for investing down okay now the next section in the application is the cash section and in here this is where you can look you can transfer money in and out of the account um, you can also sign up for the Robinhood gold card, which if you get 10 referrals uh, using this link, you actually are going to get a solid gold credit card with the promotion right now. now that's probably going to end at some point pretty soon here, um, but just something to consider. Uh, you can see that you can also have uh, cash card offers. So the cash card is basically like a debit card through Robinhood investing that you can have. It's going to take from funds that you store within Robinhood investing. I don't personally use one. I do have access to it. I do have a card uh, and uh, it, it used to be like I'd done some reviews on it. Um, but just know that if you wanted to, uh, if you're going to store some money in here and you wanted access to it through something like a debit card, you can basically set that up here. And then you have your general settings here. Uh, you can set up a direct deposit directly going into Robinhood here. Now, that's pretty straightforward. I rarely am in this section. Probably not something you need to worry about if you're looking at getting started for investing. So let's just head over to the little guy icon in the bottom right. And these are all the various settings in your account. So you can see this is a culmination of both that individual investment account I was talking about and that retirement account that I do have. So the total value in these portfolios is $36,383.50. Uh, I believe your crypto would show up here and uh, any of the spending that you're doing. Now, again, it gives you those discover more options that we've seen so many times on the other screens. And here you can actually transfer in. Um, I forgot that it doesn't actually allow me to show that screen because Robinhood uh, wants to protect any of the information. You can set up different brokerage accounts moving in. You can set up different bank accounts, things like that. But uh, let me close out of the app and go back in. All right, so if I go back to the little guy icon in the bottom right, click on the three dots in the top left, you can see this is where you have your menu items. Now, in here, you can see your investing tab, which is going to give you a breakdown on your portfolio, what things you're invested in. You can uh, view your recurring investments and uh, dividend reinvestments and things like that. Now, this stuff isn't all that important to cover. Uh, you have your spending section here, crypto, uh, your different transfers. Here's the referral section I was talking about. Invite a friend, get $5. So, hey, if you uh, if you want to get five dollars, like start sending your referral code around to some friends, leave it in the description. Maybe somebody will sign up with it. Um, definitely just, you know, it's just a cool little feature of their app. Um, you can see the Robinhood Gold stuff right here, which basically tells you everything that you get for Robinhood Gold. 8% margin rate. Now I don't trade on margin. Margin is basically like borrowing or taking out a loan to make investments. Now, I think if you're just getting started making investments with your actual money is better than if you start investing with somebody else's, you lose money, then you have to pay them back. And all of a sudden you're bankrupt and you have no money. Like it's very stressful. So you can get a 3% Roth IRA transfer boost, meaning if you already had a Roth IRA account somewhere else, my guess is you might not if you're watching this video, but if you did, like I transferred mine from M1 Finance into Robinhood Investing, I got a 3% match. So I basically made six or $700 for transferring my account into Robinhood, which was really cool. 5% APY, which is what you're gonna get on just leaving your cash in there. It's kind of like a high interest savings account. Um, you can get up to 10K in instant deposits, um, professional research using Morningstar. A lot of that stuff you can kind of just access for free online too. And then real-time market data. Um, so that's just, you know, how it's set up where I uh, started my membership. And then because of my Roth IRA, yeah, you can see up to $427.90 that was made from that. Just like cool little section here before I would say Robinhood investing was not really worth it. Now I think it is with all of the features that they offer personally. So it's just something to consider as you're getting started. Now, 
Uh, then you have the history. You can see all of your moves, everything that's going on. You can see in here, I'm getting a lot of dividend payments and things like that and different buys that I have set up. You can scroll through and see that. You've got your reports and statements here. You can see what's going on with the happenings of your portfolio. And then you have the tax center. Now I talked about paying taxes before. Taxes are really, really simple. If you use something like TurboTax, you can actually just link directly your Robinhood account with that. And you don't have to worry about anything. But if you ever need your tax documents, it is in this section and what you can end up doing you can see um, is you can view your documents and you can basically you know send that to your tax professional if you have one or this is all the information that you'll need it's the 1099 here so you've got your security and privacy changing passwords setting up two-factor authentication things like that would recommend that you set up two-factor authentication especially like me like someone who shares their portfolio online i get people trying to hack into these accounts all the time i've got you know my face id on my phone but i've also got different methods of backing it up and making it a lot a lot harder for people to you know try and hack into the account it's just uh something to consider when you're getting started with these then you've got other settings you can set up in here um, about notification badges things like that and then you can see there's the account number and everything down at the bottom there so pretty straightforward those are all of the tabs within Robinhood investing and let's get into some other sections here all right let's talk about transferring funds into your Robinhood investing account and this process again like everything else is pretty straightforward now what I'm gonna first do is click on buying power on the home screen this is where I find it's just easiest to access this portion of it click on buying power and what you're gonna see is you can have deposit funds right here and so I'm just gonna click on deposit funds and you're gonna notice that um, in here I already have it linked up with my bank account, so I don't have the same screen that you would have. But let me show you what you're going to have the option to do. You're going to see that there's an add account in here. And just like on my screen in the external accounts, I can go ahead and click on add account. So you can see I can enter my debit card, which is going to give me access to $3,000 of uh, daily deposits that are instant. Basically, it's going to take direct from that debit card, put it right into Robinhood investing, or you can link up a bank account which takes uh, about four to five days to transfer but they will give you access to some of those funds early to make investments it's just as if the actual physical money hasn't hit the account just yet so when I click on something like a debit card, uh, it's really straightforward, right? You're gonna get this uh, screen where it just asks you for your card information. And then once you link that, you can start investing using that. But I actually don't do that. I use the bank account, so it kicked me out here. Let me add an account again, go into bank account. And this, like, I love these services like Plaid where you can link up your different accounts. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. I'm gonna continue as guest. And if you have a bank institution that's got an online uh, you know, service to it, you could use like Bank of America, for example. If I click on Bank of America in this section, it's going to take me to log in to a Bank of America account directly through their website. It is secure. It is really helpful that they do it this way. And uh, it basically will just help automate linking your bank account and then you can start getting access to the funds that you wanna transfer in. So once you're all set with that, let me just take you back out here and you'll have it all linked up. And basically all you need to do then is select where you're getting the money from. So you can see the different accounts that I have in here that I could be taking it from and you can transfer into a specific account within Robinhood. So I got my Roth IRA, my individual account, and my spending balance here. So uh, let's say I wanted to transfer $100 from my bank account. I could do that. I could click review, and then I could click transfer $100. And just like that, I'd have access to it in this account. Now, I can also do uh, the frequency here where you can, again, you can set up a recurring uh, deposit into the account. And if you want to transfer money out of Robinhood, let's say you made some money and you sold some investments, you want to take it out. Well, then you can click that from icon in the same section. Let's say I'm uh, taking from my individual account. I got the $15 that I had in buying power before, and I can transfer that into a bank account by selecting it here and then entering the value and I could click review and transfer it right back out. Now, do note that if you're trying to transfer funds out, they do need to settle in your account first. And much like Robinhood Investing is going to give you access to funds that you're transferring in um, ahead of the availability of them being in your account. So uh, basically because of how the banking system works, it takes a little bit of time for them to transfer in. 
but Robinhood will still give you access to start investing. And, uh, and so the same thing on the back end. if you're looking to transfer money out, you do need to wait a little bit of time for the funds to settle. So if I sold all of my, uh, all of my Apple stock, which is worth $2,494, what's going to happen is it would take probably a few business days to settle in this account before I can transfer it back into my bank account, but have no fear. Like reputable platform here they are going to uh, allow you to transfer out super easily as well and i've done it you know back and forth multiple times transferred money in a, into my robin hood account i've transferred money into different accounts and things like that and i uh, have never really had an issue with it the other thing is if you do have an issue um i didn't mention this before but they also have a section here in their settings where you can get contact Robinhood support. Totally meant to mention this. I can't believe I left it out, but they have a help center. You can contact them 24 seven and uh, they actually have uh, like a helpline. Basically you can, you can text with them kind of through their application. If you have any issues, I've used it multiple times, not for major issues or anything like that. I'm um, asking where I'm standing with like uh, some of the wait lists that they have for different features. But uh, overall I've had pretty solid experiences with the Robinhood customer service team. Okay. So now I'm back on the home screen and I want to talk about buying and selling stocks. Now hear me out. If this is your very first time investing and you're thinking you're going to jump in and make millions of dollars, super quick. I want to say that first off, I was that same exact person. I thought I was going to do extremely well investing. Turns out I did right away. I invested in a penny stock. I kind of like tripled my money and then immediately tried to do the same thing and lost it all. Uh, so the quicker you can learn that you're probably not going to have these great results if you do that strategy, um, the better, right? And so I think personally, if I were to just be getting started investing, I wish somebody would sit me down and tell me, hey, invest in a market tracing ETF. What's going to happen is you are going to, you know, trace the market on average, get seven to 10% return annually from the stock market. As you do so, you're gonna learn a little bit more about investing and then you can choose a style that resonates best for you. But that's like my suggestion, like what I would do if I were restarting, invest in an ETF like that. My personal favorite is VTI. And if you wanna invest in something like VTI, or any individual stock or any stock at all, the process is going to be the exact same. So let me show you, for example, if I search for uh, another ETF, which if you don't know what an ETF is, an ETF is an exchange traded fund. So what I was talking about, VTI, VOO, they're very similar. Uh, they are a basket of stocks and it gives you automatic diversification right off the bat. And you can look at what types of things are held within those particular investments. But let me search up VOO here and you can look up anything, right? So there's VOO, which is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF, but you could look up, let's say you wanted to buy Tesla. You could see there's Tesla here. You could click into Tesla and there's a lot of different, obviously options, anything that's on the stock market, you'll be able to find in here. Now, if I look up VOO, what's cool is uh, buying and selling and, and, and the outlook of this super straightforward. Now, all the screens on these investments are going to look extremely similar, uh, similar to that home screen that we were even talking about. Let's just run through this right here. So you can see, you can drag your thumb and see the different returns. Again, you're going to get the returns over time and how that looks. Um, and you can go all the way up to the max time frame. So you can see way back uh, this fund, we can start charting back in 2010 up until today. And it's an over 350% return, which is pretty solid. Now you can scroll down. It tells you about each stock, each investment, each ETF in this section. You can see it is a passively managed uh, to hold large cap US stocks selected by S&P committee. The listed name is VOO under Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Now you're gonna get um, what it does, which is an S&P 500 uh, ETF here. It tells you the holdings. So you can see 30% of it is in technology. It breaks down healthcare, communication service, consumer defensive, real estate, all the different, like what it looks like. Uh, in terms of what it's holding. You've got the different stats down beneath it. If you want to learn a little bit about it, what uh, things like the average trade volume are, what the price was when it opens, the 52 week high, 52 week low. You can see what list it's part of. So you can see this is one of the most uh, traded uh, investments, most bought investments here on the Robinhood investing platform. You've got the 100 most popular here. And then you have people also own, it just is similar investments that people are making. 
You can see your history. So at one point in time in 2018, I did own this and then I sold it. Oh, look at that. I actually bought it on the... For some reason, I bought it and sold it in the same day, but I ended up making $2, which is pretty cool. And then you can see the average annual return here. Uh, so over the past year, if you started investing a year ago, you would have been getting close to a 30% return. And then all the way up until like, every year for the 10 year return, you on average got 12% there, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's just how you see it. Now, if you wanna do this for an individual stock, again, let's look up Tesla real quick to show you what that looks like. A very similar outlook. You're gonna see things like the CEO about Tesla, the stats. In this section, you're gonna have the news, what's going on with Tesla. You've got trading uh, trends that are happening. Uh, and you can see like what hedge funds and insiders are doing too. Um, just cool little section here. You're gonna get this analyst section. Bulls are saying what they're saying here and uh, what the bears are saying. Bulls and bears. Bulls are bullish on the stock. They think it's gonna do well. It's gonna be like telling you all the good things about it. Bears are negative on the stock. They don't think it's gonna do super well. Honestly, I just take all this stuff with a grain of salt. I try to find the best investments for me and uh, do what makes sense. Now this research report, again, is only part of gold, but in here you're gonna get the Morningstar rating and things like that. You can see the full report by clicking into it. So uh, if you wanna do something like uh, get gold, you're gonna get access to something like that. You're gonna get this earnings report section, which is going to show you the different, uh, if they're hitting, if they're missing their earnings, it'll give you their expected earnings and their actual earnings. Basically, this is how you can look at some of the financial stability and how they're doing compared to what um, experts are, are, are predicting for them too. So cool little section there. You've got shareholder Q and A's. Now, what's really interesting is a lot of these stocks, they have public shareholder meetings. I've actually sat in on a number of these and they're really cool. It's just like overall the people like that are working there talking about the, the company like their financials, things like that. Um, because technically as you buy and sell stocks, you're part owner of those companies, which is really cool to think about. Again, the related list section and people also own. You can see that I have um, been holding Tesla for a while. I actually recently sold out of it. And, uh, and that's just the history that you're gonna get there. So overall, that is what the investment screen kind of looks like. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you how to actually buy and sell. I know that was kind of long-winded, but basically all you need to do is on this screen here, you click on trade. Once you click on trade, you're gonna click on buy. Don't worry about trading options. That's a little bit more expert for a video like this, but you go click trade, you click buy. And then just like that, you can actually set how much money you wanna invest into this particular investment. So you can see, uh, let's say you wanted to put $100 into it. All you would do is do 100 right here, click review. And then you can see uh, right now it says, I do not have enough buying power. So I could go ahead and make a deposit if I wanted to coming from my checking account to, and then you see I have the Roth IRA, the individual account or my cash balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and click my individual account and uh, I would be able to do $100 here, review and transfer $100 in just like that. So it's really straightforward to get money into the account and you can see my deposit was initiated. It's gonna take just a couple of days for that to get uh, fully in there, but I am going to get instant access to uh, start investing if, uh, if I wanted to here and I'm just gonna click continue. So now you can see that you could set up a recurring uh, recurring deposit if you want, maybe later. And then again, now I have $100 that I'd be able to spend. I could click review and I could swipe up and just like that, you've bought yourself a share. Now, another thing that's really cool is you can set up recurring investments. So if you remember, if I click into my Roth IRA, I actually showed you that I have these two uh, weekly buys that I'm doing. So a lot of people ask me, hey, how do you set up a weekly buy, something like that? Well, if you want to, click on trade, click on buy. In the top right, you can see there's that dollars drop down. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then within here, you can see that under conditional orders, there's a recurring investment. So I'm gonna click on recurring investment. And then in here, you can structure it out to be every market day. So that's whenever the stock market is open, Monday through Fridays, aside from holidays. And then you could do every week, you could do every two weeks or every month. And it's just as easy as doing like, you know, every month here, click continue. Let's say you wanted to do something as little as five dollars you could do that and then you could set where the money is going to be taken from you can link it directly to your bank account or you can take it directly from your individual buying power click on continue 
You can have a backup method if you want. I'm gonna just gonna click, click on skip. You can review it. This is just saying that $5 every month on the 17th, every month it's going to invest. I can click review, swipe up, and just like that, hey, you've got your recurring investments set up. Now on the flip side, you might be wondering, hey, how do I go and actually sell investments? And uh, that is pretty much the same exact process. Let me go into a stock that I own that I can show you with. Uh, here we'll click on Apple. You see with Apple, I could go ahead and click trade. And now you can see there's options to either do trade options, I could sell or I could buy more. I'm gonna go ahead and click sell. And then it's the exact same setup. You can see that I have $2,493 available to be sold. I could sell you know, half of it by clicking on that right there, swipe up and submit that. Or you can specify like, let's say I just wanted to take hundred dollars out review and then swipe up as well so that's just super straightforward buying and selling is like honestly this is like the easiest smoothest process that i've run into out of any application now i do get the question uh, a decent amount is robin hood investing a scam and i would not be talking about this if i was worried about it in any way shape or form on this channel it's where i use you saw all of my investments in there i really trust the application uh, a lot of people got upset when they halted trading during the whole gamestop short squeeze but you have to remember they were not the only platform that had to do that because of liquidity issues and uh and it's something that you know if you were living under a rock and you didn't hear about it, it's really interesting and there's documentaries on it and everything but just know that um you know again i wouldn't be pushing this i wouldn't be making so many videos about robin hood investing nor would i showcase them on my channel if that were to be the case so if you guys took away anything from this video make sure you leave it a like i put a lot of effort into it and on top of that if you have any specific questions leave a comment down below i'll be happy to get back to you and on top of that if you want to go follow me on instagram and you want to talk stocks talk anything finance i'm always around so uh head over to uh check that out thank you so much for watching this video and uh hopefully you took something away have a great day